hennes barn var fanget på lås og slå. Hver dag blev hun fraktet til en fabrik, hvor hun måtte jobbe 12 tøffe arbeidstimer. Hver eneste krone hun tjente gikk rett i lomma til de som eide henne. Selv om hun ikke spiste selv, hadde hun ikke nok mat til å mette barna sine med det lille hun fikk. Hennes barn blev tvunget til å stå rundt bordet og se på mens de som eide henne spiste seg mette. Det var bare små rester igjen som de kunne spise. Babyen hennes var veldig undervektig, og selv om hun holdt et tappert ansikt overfor sine barn, var den lyse fremtiden hun hadde forestilt seg lenger og lenger borte for hver grusomme dag. When our team arrived at the scene, when I arrived at the scene, I could smell the, the poverty, I could smell the desperation, I could smell the exploitation. I can't tell you, I can't describe what it feels like to see children in the manner of which we found them. We provided the basic needs, the nappies, the clothing, the food, and we made it possible for them to have aftercare here in the UK. A few weeks later, our team went back to see them and uh, they were describing to me about the moment where they saw the children, the, the baby, the, the baby that was so malnourished but now had big chubby cheeks. They described the children and the, the, the fact that they were playing and dancing again. They described the mother who had hope and dignity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Organizaci Auto Justice za to, že mi pomohli od začátku se od toho všetkého dostať, to, že mi pomáhají a jsem jim za to vděčná. Děkuji. Když by nebylo jich, tak nevím, možná by to lidé, kteří potřebují tak pomoc, jako jsme potřebovali, a tak sami by to nezvládli.